Hi Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising. Here is your reading for March this year. Hope you're doing well. Crowning the reading, we have the Page of Cups. So there's an offer here and also the Ace of Swords. So there's a victorious offer. There's something here coming in which will give you victory. So if you've been trying to get a job, win somebody's heart, have some sort of legal offer uh, or legal result, you're going to get a very victorious result. Things are going to turn in your favour or come forward in your favour. So that's what's crowning the reading. There could be an offer of love, an offer of relationship. There could also be an, a, a child coming into your life in some way. Uh, and it, it's very legal. It has a legal connotation to it. With the swords, I always see swords as having some sort of legal connotation. It's like a document signed or something official happening here with the Ace of Swords, an official win, official victory of some description. And then we have at the base of the reading here is the Tower. So there's going to be an upheaval, can be a very positive upheaval. It could be that you're cleaning out the closet, doing a spring clean, getting rid of something that you don't want to need. You could be upsetting the apple card in some description with a situation of other people. But for you, I feel like it's a cleanse. I feel like you're getting rid of what you don't need and attracting what you do need. You could also be going through some sort of major change or shift in your life where you are you have a big unsettled kind of event or activity that's happening in your life. That could be very interesting for you because all the cards around it look very positive. Uh, directly on the internal side, where you how you're feeling on the inside here is the Three of Pentacles. So around this upheaval of the tower or the tower moment, there's a Three of Pentacles. So it's like you're working, working, working. There could be a big change in your work environment, a big change in how you're working, how you're earning money, how you're going about your day-to-day -day life. It's sort of toiling, So, but you're getting the money for it. So it's sort of rosy and, and fine and happy at the same time. But it could be that you feel like you're just on a treadmill, that things are due for a change and the tower, tower will give you that change and the three of pentacles is like okay we're working for, for our best good we're working towards a common goal we're working towards something favorable and gold and rosy unexpected things coming up on the internal is a potential step down memory lane somebody from the past coming back in the six of cups could be a romantic gesture, a romantic offer, romance blossoming in your life. Could be a romantic trip. Some of you might have connections with the UK or England. There's a very strong presence here with cottages, with England, with romance. You might be going back to somewhere in your family tree that you've wanted to discover. You could be going back to somewhere where you're born. You could have, you could be from a place that has cobblestone streets. Uh, somewhere like Boston or Chicago or somewhere that's very old, uh, even New York. You could be going back somewhere to a, a village where you've maybe grew up or where you're from. So it could be like a step down memory lane, going back into childhood memories or reconnecting with childhood friends or loves or just romance in general popping up in your life. Something unexpected that you weren't expecting pop popping up is romance. The outcome on the internal, on the internal, your personal sort of internal level is the Ten of Rods. So you're taking on a big responsibility. You feel like you're taking it in your stride, though. It's not something that you can't handle. You're handling it very well. And it's taking you down a road here. You've got a goal and you're going down the road with this responsibility or burden, you could say. But it's something that you're willing to take a chance on. So it could be a job or a new offer coming up, victorious offer that gives you more responsibility. You feel, oh my God, you've got this burden, but it's something that you are carrying and you can go about doing. It could even be, oh my God, I'm pregnant and you're getting some sort of, um, some sort of, you know, chance uh, to take on this burden and you're carrying it forward internally and on an internal level. It's not something that might be seen on the outside. And on the outside here, we have the King of Pentacles. So this is a person, a figure that could be popping up in your life, could be a boss, a father figure, a brother, 
an uncle, a grandfather, a husband, a boyfriend, fiance, somebody that you're associated with, could be a dark male, somebody dark hair, dark eyes, not necessarily dark skin, or just somebody older and wiser. This person is a king. He's very well established. He has money. He could also have properties. There's a castle here in the background. Somebody who looks after his appearance. He could have fine clothes, enjoys fine wine, enjoys the pleasures of life, enjoys the material side of life. This man's coming forward or could be around you or popping up as somebody who is significant in this month moving forward. Unexpected things that will be coming up on the external page of pentacles. Maybe this person is coming forward, but they're not offering you exactly what you want. There could be a person or a younger person around you that reappears or appears. Could be somebody connected to this man. Could be a daughter, a son, a girlfriend, a boyfriend. Something coming up around this person that maybe is... Um, kind of like a mini me or a smaller version of this person could also be signifying the pages not offering you as much as the king could be two different people also so the pages coming forward with just a very small offer where the king is coming in with a big offer could also be the king comes in with all his riches and bounties but he's not offering you much at all he's offering you some sort of pennies and pages like the page of pentacles the outcome on the external here is the Four of Cups. So there's some offer here that's coming towards you that you're not taking. You're not taking maybe this person up on his offer or her offer as it is a general reading. You might have enough on your plate. You might be doing enough, have enough, see enough. It might not be ticking or checking the boxes of exactly what you want. So you feel like this cup is not fitting into your life in the way that you'd like it to fit in. The page of cups is here, so the offer's there. It could be a different offer coming in that is checking the boxes because you've got victory with that offer, whereas this other offer popping in here, it could be elusive, in the clouds, mystical, not tangible, not really sort of up to your standards, Libra, so you might not be accepting this offer, and that's okay because whatever happens, happens, and you've got the, the tower here. You've got the money around, you've got quite a lot of abundance around you and you've got victory here. So sometimes when you reject an offer, another another door opens. And what's jumping out to me here are the pine cones on this tree. So there's, there's bounty here that's growing. You might not see it growing because it's out of your sight, out of your reach. But there's something here growing in the background that you might not actually um, see yet, but it's to, to come into vision in the near future. Lots of love and blessings, Libra. Wishing you the best month moving forward. Take care. Ciao for now. And join me on one of my live streams every Sunday and every Thursday. New York time, 10 p.m. LA time, 7 p.m.